I mean, you're gonna have to come out of the bathroom. Yep. Alrighty then. The movement on this thing is really not that good, but... It's sitting on the lamp. Come on, look. Alright. There he is. Oh. Watch this, watch this. No, no, no. I knew somebody was back here. Goodbye, friend. Nice. Not bad. Ooh. Ooh. Broke him. Pow! Oh my. That guy's death com scared the shit out of me. Oh. This guy's pretty good, okay. But not good enough! <laughs> nah, that guy was actually pretty good, though. Gonna make a gas play here. I'm just gonna sit in this building here. I should be able to see him when he's coming across. Where the fuck is he? Got a precision. Okay, so he was over there. Oh, okay. Woo, I thought he predicted my shit. Oh god. No. Good enough. GG's. Woo! Finally over a twenty. Holy sh! Man. I've wanted to use that intro for a while. I've had it done for a couple days. And because I've been uploading Fall Guys, by the way, I want to thank everybody for all the love and support on that Fall Guys video yesterday. I, yep, again, I was proven very wrong. Uh, people seem to really enjoy Fall Guys. But see, there's no way I could sit there and play Fall Guys all day. Yeah, but some people might have thought that I was exaggerating or some shit with that title saying that it's harder than Obsidian. No, like, actually, it is harder than Obsidian. And harder as in just literally more time-consuming is what I really mean. Oh, this could be bad. This guy's over here. He could have called in a UAV real close right here. Or maybe even above me. Yeah. I was in the 6X. I have no idea what to talk about during Warzone right now. I, I just, I know that I wanted to use that intro and I don't feel like posting Fall Guys again right now. That scared the shit out of me. I feel like I'm getting way less frames today. Why? I swear I had way more frames than this. I died to this guy. Oh my, oh my, and he's dying to the worst. Oh damn, Sauce God is literally just standing in here. You, you can't go that way. Does the Nebula 5 bomb go off the same way, uh, like do the same amount of damage, for example, as the regular gas? Like obviously right now it's doing damage to just his armor, right? But for example, if you have the gas mask on, does it deplete the gas mask as fast as the regular kind? Straight up, I mean, I think if going to capital and then using that, because so many people can only flush out in uh, like a certain direction, Direction since it can't go out to sea. If you can set up the Nebula 5 bomb in a really condensed place like Capital or whatever, man, that would have been so nice in downtown on Verdansk. Yeah, man, make sure the rocks aren't breathing. You already just did a scavenger. Go do a bounty. You have everything you need. You're full plated, kid. Oh, there we go. Okay, did he hear me? Shit. He's gonna use this to fly over to this. I can't believe I lost to that guy in the gulag. That shit scared the fuck out of me. So he grabs a bounty and then huddles in a corner. Is it because of that car that's that far away from you? Maybe he's busy. 
Setting waypoint. Oh no, he's looking for where that could be in relation to himself. Does he not have map rotation on? Look in the top, instead of bringing up your mini map and marking exactly where it is, you could just look where your triangle is in relation to where you're looking. Wait, so he's gonna climb on the roof to fly over to the balloon to fly to his bounty? What the fuck did you grab the bounty for? Maybe he picked it up so other people can't grab it and it could potentially land on him. He probably hates getting bounty. This guy just shoot a thing over here? Oh no, wait, yeah, he's fucked. There's a dude that's streaking on him. He bought over there at that buy station. Called in an airstrike on it, so he press him. Use the UAV! Sure, yeah, that, that's a UAV, I guess. A real unfortunate UFC event last night. It's not like it was a bad event, but the main event basically was, yeah, really, really unfortunate. It was Brian Ortega versus Yair Rodriguez. And this was a really, really enticing fight because they're both insanely dangerous fighters. Like, obviously, we know that uh, Brian Ortega has improved leaps and bounds in terms of his striking and other shit like that. And obviously, he's dangerous on the ground. I mean, he was pretty much the closest one to submitting Volk. Other than Volk's one lone uh, TKO loss or knockout loss, like I don't even know how long ago not in the UFC outside of the UFC like no one has even come that close to beating him and he's fought Max Holloway three times and what I was thinking that Brian Ortega was gonna win that fight and uh, Yair Rodriguez is obviously really really dangerous everywhere as well but he's a little bit more pronounced in the striking as opposed to where Ortega is a little bit more pronounced in the grappling in my opinion it always felt like Yair just had you know stronger faster hand again Ortega has a great chin and also basically I thought thought that Ortega was gonna win that fight but uh that fight I think ended in like the first round and from what we ended up seeing anyway uh Yair was getting the better of the stand-up it wasn't insanely bad or anything like that and since it was also a main event it was going to be five rounds there's no way that you go to public places and tell people that you're the sauce god and this is how you play this play style has zero sauce uh basically what ended up happening though they ended up getting into the scramble and Yair Rodriguez was trying to go for an arm bar but he did not have the arm bar secure and Ortega was standing over top of him Yair's on his back trying to get the arm bar or whatever and when Ortega tried to pull himself out of Yair's legs, he dislocated his shoulder. Now, some people are saying that that is actually a submission. So it sparked this whole debate because it ended up giving uh, Yair a TKO win or some shit like that. Me, personally, I think it should be a doctor stop it. That should be treated the same way as like when somebody breaks their leg in half from a checked kick. Conor McGregor got a doctor stoppage, right? Even though Poirier was the one that ended up causing the injury, technically. A lot of people are saying since Yair's the one that had his arm tangled up and he tried to pull his arm out, a TTV I actually took him out finally stop this madman from hiding in every single building 579 13 kills okay let's look this guy up this guy has a 4.0 kd 50,000 kills this guy has a pretty good stat line i mean i know a couple people that got like fours fives even higher but running into them in a, in a random solos game of all the games i've queued and spectated you know we don't usually run into any players that have any idea what they're doing to be honest they tend to be more like sauce god and a little less like trophy -er. uh but though so if i was still practicing jujitsu and we were on the mat and we're spawning or light sparring or drilling or whatever it may be and we're drilling arm bars and somehow someone's shoulder ends up slipping out of place which also by the way Brian Ortega has a history in his shoulders of having injuries in his shoulders which are a pain to actually work on as well like to recover from and shit good shots easy still using the nz really not the most fun thing to watch at least use like the as44 or some shit like that at least you know you gotta fight the recoil at least a little bit so the guy has a history of shoulder injuries where his shoulder has popped out before and the thing is the more and more that that shoulder pops out the easier and easier it's gonna be to just keep re-injuring it over and over again if that happened in the practice room on the mat we would call that an injury not hey man why did you hang on to that submission so long he clearly tapped no 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 first of all you're getting in trouble if you hang on to shit after people tap if you're actually cranking your you're also getting in trouble. But obviously, even in sport jujitsu, if that shit happens, they would call that an injury. I'm sorry. I understand that you could sit there and technically say that he's the one that caused it, but he didn't intend. That's the reality of it. Yair did not think that he had that. And also, Yair himself is not saying that, hey, no, I submitted him. No, he's saying it's an unfortunate injury because he knows if he were in his shoes and his shoulder slipped out without being in a proper submission. And again, I have to know a history of having that injury, so it's more likely to happen. I'm not going to say that he was intending to uh, dislocate his shoulder. He was attempting to get an arm bar to break his arm. 17 kills. I mean, this could be a 20. Somebody's shooting the tracer rounds at him, I think. That's really how this guy's gonna play? Very bold sitting there thinking that you can just drive your car around up here. Dude, he's right there. Oh, there's another guy. What? Ah, uh, yeah, he's down. Potential 21 here. Oh. That was a really risky uh, reach out. Luckily, that guy just literally couldn't hit any of his shots. Suck my Glock. 
guys are just standing around there's the 20 now we're gonna get a 20 plus win though 20's a standard a 20 is like hitting a five on especially with the reduced player count and shit you know yeah he's fucked unless he's got a sniper rifle and he's gonna pop him immediately up runs back and grabs the other precision keeps the pressure on him yeah that's just a bad place to cross 21. I wish I could have watched the guy a, a little bit longer. They're sitting there being forced to watch the sauce guy. The guy's a heartbeat harlot. The trophy here, he's got like a 4K D, over 50,000 kills. I mean, sure, he doesn't have the most total kills in comparison to some people, but I mean, that's a good KD. Good game, boys. <laughs> Great game, boys. Great game. GG. GG's Jeff. Mr. Uh, Mr. 2.7. 46 wins. 13 days played. It'll get there, baby. Yeah, I, uh, I spectate the game more than I play. I like that, dude. Well, Tim the Tatman man action. Good luck in your next ones, boys. I inspired Tim. Don't get it twisted. Tim may have the better spectating videos. He's got a whole stream and shit. He's got, like, the ultimate influence on what he can get. I'm gonna start calling this a type of main, to be honest, because... Wait a minute. The store's gonna refresh in a second here. This is pretty cool. It's like, uh, cell shaded or whatever, right? Oh, it's literally called cell shaded. Uh, season 4 Reloaded can't come soon enough please yeah jack shore ended up losing his undefeated uh record and all that shit he should tate lost her flyaway debut which kind of sucked but lauren murphy is just strong as shit i didn't really think about that i really did have misha in my mind but yeah i don't know where misha goes from there i don't know where yair goes from here uh they were talking about like an interim title fight with yair and uh josh emmett but i, I think it's super disrespectful for them to go and make an actual interim belt just because volk even mentioned 155 he literally just defended his interim is such a stupid idea anyway see ya